Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. So in this week's edition of uh, Build-A-Doodle, we are still trying to keep things pretty simple for you. Um, I want you to uh, take the time to practice your trees and, you know, uh, Patreons, you have received a ton of images on the trees, uh, lots of content there for you. If you uh, want, you can always go on to Pinterest and grab your own images. And, you know, just try to keep simple this week. And then next week, um, we'll go into a little bit more detail with trees. We will start to look at the actual shape of trees, how they work. And uh, then uh, the build video is going to be on Patreon. So Friday's video for this will be over there. All right, guys. Um, I think that's about it. If you're interested in Patreon, the link is down in the comments. Uh, we will have Masterclass over on Patreon. And there's so much good stuff over there. You got to check it out. Um, I think that's all for now. <laughs> I know that there's something I'm forgetting. Oh, please be sure to join us over at Messy Hand Band of Artists. We love to see what you're making. I love having all the different trees and flowers and all of the cool stuff that y'all have been doing. It's been incredible to watch you progress and make your own art. Remember not to compare yourself to anybody else's. We are creating your own style. And sometimes that looks completely different from what everybody else is doing. But that's generally a really good thing. And we don't want all of our art to look exactly the same because you're not learning anything if you're just copying me or if you're just copying your neighbor. It's true. You can do this, you got this. So we're still staying simple this week. Next week we'll go more intricate. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day, and we'll chat soon. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, as you know, last uh, last time, we were just doing these really simple little um, trees. Super simple, super fun little guys. So today we're going to get a little bit more complex. Not much more, so you don't have to worry yet. We're still keeping it simple this week. Next week, we're going to build up a little bit more. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna look at some of these uh, because some of these are starting to build into more of the shape that we're looking for. And look at how cool this one is, even with the three little, um, the three little circles, they're kind of fun. There's just a stick down the middle, line down the middle, in three circles, and then they're just playing with the lines. You don't have to do anything specific with it. You know, you can fill in like they have. You could add dots. You know, we're just still having fun with it. Of course, it's better if you make the stick straight up and down, but you know. Uh, look at like this guy. This is just a circle, a circle, a circle, and then a larger circle with a stick down the middle and then some dots. Now that's very doable, isn't it? Super doable. I mean, look at this one. This is just a square. We got some lines. Do, 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 do. We got a line down the middle, and we got some dotties. Dots, 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 dots. You get the picture, right? Super easy and kind of fun. It's a fun little shape. Again, if you want to paint the circles down first, you are more than welcome to. We were just practicing our doodles. Doodle, doodle. Oh, I like the fact that they kind of do this type of thing. Doop, 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 doop. And then they put some dots in there, and then they make some of the lines thicker and some of the lines thinner. Yep. Uh, 
Okay. Then we can go right here. Right? Look at that guy. Boop, boop, boop. So this week we're saying super simple, super easy, no stress. And again, they have that center, that line down the center. Okay, so you've played with that enough. Those are not threatening. Those are very simple. Um, and if it feels like it's overwhelming, go back to day one. Try it over again. Practice some more on the very simple shapes. And then work your way up to something like this. Okay, so I know some of you are new to drawing. Oh, look how cool that one is. That there, the dot up top. And we have circle, 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 and a line. This is really a cool design. Then we've got circle, 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 and a line. Ozzy! <whistles> and here we have a little one. Hi, buddy! Oh, you're being so good. You are being such a good dog. Oh, you are. You're staying so close to home. He's being very good. <whistles> hey! That was loud. Okay. So then you can even color in some of those. And you can always come back in and paint these if you want them different colors. Um, you know, go for it. Go for it. Use your watercolors. I'm giving you the simple basics here, guys. Um, I'm trying to get through these quickly so that you can have lots of examples. Um, you don't need me to, to, you know, hold your hand all the way, um, right? So you know what I mean here. Just come back in and give it a little paint. A little paint. Woot, 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 a little paint. And we're going to make some orange in that too because that orange is good. And that cool little thing deserves some orange. Do you have to stay in the lines? No. Do you, do you have, you know, do you want to stay in the lines? That's your choice. It's your universe. Make it be how you want to be. I'm making doodles. So I am doing these quickly. Take your time. Do it however you want to do it. Your universe, your world, right? That had purple in it, so that's why it's kind of that different color green. That's kind of a sappier green. So there you go. There's some simple trees. Let's start working with, um, what time do we have left here? And we have a couple more minutes left. So we're gonna go through here and I'm just gonna dry that off because I wanna um, turn the page. Turn the page. They're fun. Okay, here we go. All right, so with trees, you have a stick in the middle. Not a stick, you have the, the trunk, right? And we're just gonna go off of this simple shape, right? They just have these little guys up top. Remember, thicker limbs will be on the bottom. Certain trees will match up with their limbs other trees won't. It just depends on the type of tree that you're uh, painting or drawing. The best way to know how the branches are is to look it up. Google it. Say uh, tree trunk elm, tree trunk oak, and Google the image and see what it does. See how it looks. It's much more easy to, when you take a tree from its mm, naked shape for lack of a better word, um, and try to draw it from there. Now, this guy, this image, uh, you know, that kind of has these little guys coming off. It's just great. Make them come off. I make a little grass, a little grass squiggle. 
That's simple. It's still very simple, guys. Oh, this one's kind of fun here. It's kind of the cross between a feather and a tree. They just have, let's see, do that differently. Have it coming out from the, the center and going out. And they have all sorts of different ones. They have a whole bunch of little branches. I have no idea what that's supposed to represent, but it does actually have a tree shape. And then when you put your little dots on there, it's just a fun doodle shape that can look like a tree if you want it to. You know, you put a little green behind that and it's going to feel like a tree. All right? We don't have to be exact with what we're doing. Look at this simple guy. He's awesome. And he just has different little lines coming off here and here. Again, I just felt my hand getting too tight. I was holding on to it pretty tightly. That's not beneficial for your artwork. Um, again, if you want to uh, really uh, have the, the paint behind it in the circles, do it however you want to, guys. That's your universe. All right, so we're going to look at this guy right here. Look at that cool pine tree. How simple is that to get that pine tree shape? There is a Christmas tree right there. Just with little lines. Try it one more time here. I'm holding my pen a little bit too far back. Use what pens feel comfortable to you. Try doing it with Sharpie. Try doing it with whatever you want. And now, can we bring in like our, um, our Neo colors too? Absolutely. You know, come, come in with your um, water soluble crayons. Um, pull this up here. Look at that gorgeous color. Beautiful. So this is where we learn about our products. This is where we experiment. This is where we see what they can do. How about blending? Can we blend these guys? Yes, we can blend these guys. Okay, I've got green in my brush, remember? So I'm going to pull to the darker color first. Then I'm going to pull it up into the lighter color. You can go either direction with that. Uh, the, the, it just depends on what type of coloring you want. If you want it to stay lighter, do the lighter first and drag it down. If you want it to be darker, go from the darker to the light. Um, you know, and we can pull up some of that color, add it a little water, dab it up, and it's gone. Look how cool that is, except for that stupid piece of glick right there. Um, so yeah, here's where we practice with our, our, our different uh, paints. Tools, not paints, our different tools. These are Neocolor 2. They're not Neocolor 1s. Neocolor 1s are different. Um, the Neocolor 2s are the water soluble crayons. So just so you guys know that, it, it does make a difference. Look at how pretty that is. So we make a, so we make a, a, this tree have some leaves on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the yellow up top where it would hit the light. Anywhere where the light would hit, we're going to stay with the lightest color to be our highlights. And then we have to have some mid tones in there. Now, you are going to have some highlights in the middle, too, because some of these will get hit by the sunlight, too. And then let's go with a darker pink or a darker orange pink. God, I can't speak. Underneath. And let's see what we get with that. Let's put a little bit of blue in here for the deepest shadow. Now, anywhere where there's shade and 
you know, in the tree itself, you have highlights and shadows, and that's kind of what you need to look for. All right, I'm just gonna blend in this, the little darks here first, and then I'm gonna rinse out my brush, and then I'll come in with the lights. And try not to pick up too much of that dark pigment. just playing with our products, seeing what they can do, seeing what we can make. This is the perfect opportunity to do that when we're just practicing our sketches. And that's pretty awesome. Complete fun. Okay guys, so that is definitely enough time here for this. And um, as you can see, we're still staying very simple we'll do um we are going to do the build video on patreon so if you would like to see what we make out of these little simple um uh, sketches then please join us over at patreon it is ten dollars a month and uh would love to have you there your support is greatly appreciated okay guys so just keep practicing simple ones next week we'll get into a little bit more complex trees and we will talk about their shapes and their forms and how to replicate them uh, a little bit closer right now we're just sticking with the doodle the doodle the doodle <laughs> all right take her easy everybody i hope you have a great night stay safe and we will chat soon